Danny Martin for your Cracker Tracker. Where are we today? Well, I'm trying to access a canal system that doesn't have a ramp. So we're going to have to go through a couple of pipes and a tunnel to do it. We'll see if it works. If not, we'll try something else. But, um, you ready, kid? Ready to give it a shot? Well, like I said, it involves a little getting around, but we'll see. Thanks for joining us. number one. Actually, I have to get through a couple. Be happy to be the other end of this. I hate jet skis. Obstacle number one. Obstacle number two. This one looks like it's gonna be a little more snug. Come on, Oscar. Oscar hates tunnels. You all right, buddy? Come on. Hey, he's not a big fan of the tunnel. It'll be all right. we won't do to get to a fishing spot, huh? I believe this area is lightly fished. There's no ramp that accesses this uh, canal other than the one that I came in by, which really makes you jump through some hoops to get this far. But um, let's hope we get some good fish today. And back in the world of the living. Excellent. A Canadian goose. Water. Not South Florida is crisscrossed with canal systems, urban canal systems. Um, it's part of the uh, South Florida Water Management District. It brings the water into the treatment plants so it can be drank. It comes right from the Everglades. These canal systems are overlooked. As you can see, they end up in the back of condominiums and industrial parks. And uh, people just forget they even exist. This water is fed by, um, by the Everglades. And um, there are Everglade fish in here, including largemouth bass. What it has become the favorite haunt of is the uh, bullseye snakehead, though. The bullseye snakehead. And this is probably part of the reason why it hasn't invaded the Everglades like they think, is that this is the prime habitat. Low uh, oxygen, high temperature, easy prey. Um, no one bothers them in here, so uh, I would be very surprised if we saw another angler and if we didn't get some nice bullseyes in here. So uh, let's give it a shot. Oh man, it's got one little bass. Missed a couple of snakeheads and, uh, and a couple of other bass, but um, you know, uh, snakeheads aren't the only invasive we have to deal with here. Um, Jaguar Japote, Mayan cichlids, uh, armored catfish, um, peacock bass, they were introduced but they're still an invasive. Um, they're everywhere. Paku, you could just fish for invasives here. Most of the invas most of those records are held here in Broward County because those fish get really big here. They're not predated on so uh, we'll keep trying. Let's keep trying see how it goes. Now that is just crazy. My frog was stuck on a twig and I couldn't get him off. This little snakehead jumped up and took him off the twig. I, I had shut the trolling motor over. I was going over to get him. And a uh, little snakehead took it off the twig for me, and I got him. <laughs> and guess who gets the snakehead? Guess who gets the snakehead? The snakehead killer gets the snakehead. Kill that snakehead, Oscar. Do your duty. Do your bit for 
ridding the Everglades of this nasty invasive species. You're a good boy. Yeah, good boy. Get that snakehead. Get him, you good boy. <laughs> he don't mess around, man. He don't. Anyway, that was cool. Wow. That's a nice one for you. Nice fish. fish. <laughs> been a long day, you know, just trying out a new area. That's, that's pay your dues fishing though, man. And that's what you gotta look at. Caught, caught a few little bass. And that was about it. But, um, pretty, pretty colorings on them in here. But that's pay your dues fishing, you know. And remember, I'm Danny Martin, not Roland Martin. So, I don't always slay him. Anyway, thanks for joining us on the Cracker Tracker, and we'll catch you next time.